Hello everybody, this is Abraham with No Short Computer Services and today I'd like to introduce you to a Google Chromebook type of Google Chromebook computer uh, that cost me overall about um, seven dollars. So anybody could build it and uh, I'll explain uh, how it works. So let me just show that it actually is working. Um, Let's do some searches. As you can see, um, it's fairly fast. It uh, um, basically does what it needs to. Um, I haven't visited this site, so it might have to load some things. All right, so let's search for a car. So for a computer that overall cost me about seven bucks, including shipping, it's not too bad. Now, uh, disclaimer, I did not include in price the monitor, which you can get for free or pick up cheap at Goodwill, and I did not include the mouse and keyboard in the cost, and I also didn't include the price of the computer itself. The seven bucks was just the disk drive that I had to buy for it. And the reason I didn't include it is I didn't have to pay for any of this stuff. This was a compilation of things that were given to me, uh, some things that uh, I got at uh, rummage sale for pennies, and uh, it's just not worth mentioning. That's why I uh, only mentioned the thing that I purchased, and the thing that I purchased is a one gigabyte uh, DOM disk on module or ATA disk module, ADM, um, but basically the only reason that I had to purchase this was because the one that came in the computer was only 512 megabytes and Windows XP will not run on 512 megabytes. So, uh, let me explain how it works. So right now this is basically running Google Chrome and kiosk mode, but uh, on the back side, let me exit the Chrome, it's actually running Windows XP and it's a full version of Windows XP, no compromises but I did have to slim it down to fit on one gigabyte of hard drive space let me prove that to you let's see, here's my computer, here's hard drive and properties and as you can see uh, the hard drive capacity is one gigabyte. And it's actually, I've compressed it to get a little more space out of it, but it was running fine on one gigabyte, except that when I loaded Google Chrome, Chrome I only had about 80 megabytes available and the system was complaining. So now I've cleaned it up some more and I actually have 300 megabytes free space. That makes system happy as long as there is at least 20% empty space. System is not complaining. Um, now, how did I do that? Uh, let's see. What I did was, I've installed a full version of Windows on a different disk module. This is an 8 gigabyte disk module, which allowed me installation of full Windows. And then I went to, uh, let's see, accessories. Why am I missing it? Oh, Explorer. Then I went to the hard drive and under Windows and System 32, let's find the System 32. There is a folder called uh, DLL. Let's see, I have it saved somewhere. Let me plug in my thumb drive here. And everything works on this computer. This is basically a thin client uh, made by 
Bossa Nova um, and it was running Windows XP embedded on uh, uh, 512 uh, megabyte disk module and uh, uh, 512 megabyte memory module. So let me see here. Um, and of course, it's not on this drive. Let's see, what did I do? Oh, here it is. It's on this one here. Uh, DLL cache, that's the folder that I got rid of. And that was basically, uh, that took my Windows installation down to under one gigabyte. Let's see. I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. Uh, DLL cache is the folder that you need to look for. So I have this nifty program that uh, shows me how much of my disk is taken by what. And as you can see, this is this right here is Google Chrome. Uh, these are some uh, user files um, for Google Chrome. And this is Windows, this right here. I have disabled the um, uh, cache file uh, for Windows and I have uh, uninstalled practically every software on uh, internal uh, Windows software. So this is simply just Windows Core. There is nothing on it but Google Chrome. And then what I did was under programs and startup I have set up the uh, application uh, shortcut to chrome.exe and it's a dash kiosk and then you can put HTTP which page you want it to start so that's let me just restart the computer and uh, I still have a little bit of things or a few things that I want to do to it to speed it up a little bit but uh, it does work fairly fast it doesn't have any load on it it uh, doesn't have to run or think about anything and it runs Google Chrome which means uh, uh, practically every facet of the internet is uh, available and displayable I did not upgrade um, Explorer 6 so this one still has Explorer 6 I did not put any updates into the computer so it's running just Windows uh, XP Service Pack 3 um, without any updates, without anything. Um, and one folder that was big folder that was deleted was the um, DLL cache from Windows uh, System 32 folder. And uh, <coughs> certain minor things disabled like uh, System Restore that takes a lot of um, space on a disk drive. Uh, I've disabled recycle bin. I've uh, uh, disabled the... Um, I forgot what it's called. God, it's escaping me. Uh, the cache file that's saved on a disk uh, while Windows is running. So as you can see, this is a full start, uh, which is about 30 seconds from beginning to end on a computer that was basically going to be tossed. Um, the things that I had to do were um, I had to locate the drivers for this uh, motherboard because it's a VIA chip, VIA. Uh, VIA has very nice website uh, with practically every driver available there. So I just went on the website, punched in the numbers. I had to take the uh, heat sinks off so I can locate the proper numbers for it. This is the video card, this is the processor, and this is the audio chip. And the only two drivers I needed were the audio chip and the uh, video. Um, everything else was uh, basically found by the Windows, uh, including the uh, network card, all the USB uh, things, and uh, um, motherboard drivers. So this computer is fully operational with no um, drawbacks and it's, I mean, it's a nice computer to run Windows on. And uh, the 
the discount module that I purchased uh, was like five bucks for one gigabyte and uh, I think it was like two dollars for shipping so that's why I quoted um, seven dollars so there you go I hope you liked it and uh, as always have a nice day